So here's a polarizer, a sheet of polarizer. I just put on a light table. And you can see the intensity of the light coming through this is about half of the intensity of just a light table. So this is making linearly polarized light, only light coming out all one direction, uh, oscillating maybe vertically or this way, I'm not sure which way the axis is, but um, all the light waves coming through are polarized in one direction. Now I have another sheet of polarizer and you can see if I line them up um, and then rotate it, the intensity of light is going down until it's actually black. So when these two polarizers are crossed, there's no light coming through. So this is blocking all the polarizations but one, and then this is now blocking um, that one polarization that was getting through. So these are crossed polarizers. And again, if I rotate it, you can see that we start to get the light through again. So these are aligned, they're both blocking the same. Now, crossed polarizers. What's really cool about crossed polarizers is you can use it to analyze different materials. So this is just a, a plastic container that you can put like corn syrup in to use as optics. And I'm gonna put it on this polarizer and you can already kind of see a little bit of rainbow effects, which you can't see if it's just under white light. So now if I put the crossed polarizer over it, check it out, all kinds of colors and those colors change as I rotate the polarizer. So here, even with the polarizers lined up, I get some pretty colors out of the plastic. So here it's crossed polarizers. So when there's no plastic in here, none of the light gets through, but when the light goes through the plastic, it actually rotates the polarization of the light. So let's say the polarization is like this. So it's oscillating vertically and then it enters the plastic as it goes through the plastic, it actually rotates a little bit. So now when it gets to the second polarizer, a small fraction of it can get through. And how much it rotates actually depends on the wavelength. Just like for dispersion, the index of refraction can depend on the wavelength. The amount of rotation that the polarization gets also can depend on the wavelength. So we get different colors getting out of the polarizers. And you can see, especially if I hold it this way, you can see where there's areas of tension of stress in the plastic. So engineers use this to look at stress in a design. So you can see in the corners, there's um, a lot of colors and here a stress point. Um, there's actually, I can see it visually too without that. There's a little uh, blip in the plastic there and you can see that's causing stress throughout the plastic. Um, and the plastic does this because it's, you know, plastics are made out of these long, I think, polymer molecules, right? And so they're what we call optically active. They rotate the polarized light. We can also see this um, with here's just a plastic fork and a plastic spoon. And again, if I put my crossed polarizers over that, um, you can see the stress, especially in the fork where it comes down here, lots of different colors, um, where the light again is being rotated as it goes through the plastic. And again on the spoon, lots of stress where there's a little symbol imprinted there. And they look normal without it. So the cross polarizers can help you see stress in a material.